hadn't mm-hmm. invested time in reading the books. I knew there was a Harry Potter huge thing happening, but I hadn't seen the earlier films, so I, I had no sense. Right. It was only when my sister, who has children, said, don't you realize what they're asking you to do is extraordinary? And I saw, and then I took it a bit more seriously. I, I wasn't that aware, no, when it was first proposed to me, I, is this, do I like this part? What does it involve, you know? Who, <laughs> Is it something I would enjoy playing? And I did in the end, yeah. yeah. You're a fool, Harry Potter. And you will lose. She describes the voice in a couple of places at least, which was a good indicator of where to go. And the snake-like idea that J.K. Rowling gives him as someone that he himself has snake-like elements to his movement. Silky, smooth, silent. With Stuart Craig, who is the, the production designer, and his team, we discussed what the wand would be. It, it has a hook on it, so it can hook. I can hold my hand like that, and it can. The end of it can hook around. I think this finger, and so it can sort of. I can almost have the hand open. So it would. You would think it might fall off the hand, but it. Um, I don't know. I just enjoyed. The thing that it could it could be light in the hand. I didn't I didn't have as much prosthetic makeup as people think I did. They removed my nose digitally later on, so I was covered in coloured dots, and then I had to sit in front of cameras and every angle recorded, and then for the the digital expert, Mark Coulier was the makeup artist for me and his team. Gave me a white, pale, pale sort of sickly complexion, but then they had these sort of vein like paintwork, which was actually transfers, so they could have consistency, so they to just sponge the transfers onto my scalp and face to give this sort of slightly translucent vein-like quality to the, to my, the sickly pallor. The scene at the table, when I talk about muggles. To her, the mixture of magical and muggle blood is not an abomination, but something to be encouraged. And then the snake comes up along, and that, that, I love that scene. I think it's the beginning of the first part of Deathly Hallows. Nagini. Dinner. That was a great scene, and I love shooting the death duel. That was cool, with Daniel in the, in the big courtyard. That was epic. What's that like? How do you get yourself in that moment, you know, and you, do you visualize the blasts coming from your wand? And- you just have to hate Harry Potter. There's a deep loathing. <laughs> I'll be I'll be pissed if they brought back Voldemort